Hey everybody, it's Comphelp. Today I'm going to show you how to basically make a CD and ISO image to where, let's say, I have my simple Razor Crate driver disk here for my Razor Crate mouse. Let's say for some reason I use the drivers, right? And uh, I don't want them to go corrupt or... Okay, that was kind of pointless, but let's just say I need the drivers and uh, I just want them with me wherever I go on my computer right here on my laptop. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make this into an ISO image and we can access it and run it whenever we want without the disk. So you can, I wouldn't throw away the disk, but so you can basically store the disk away somewhere where, uh, out of your way and away from your computer place, workstation or desk. Okay, so what you're going to need is alcohol 52. I'm going to go ahead and install it for you. 52% and uh, I'll give you the link to this program in the description so I'm just installing the uh, program here and what alcohol 52 percent does is it creates a virtual drive so you can run images so you don't have to keep on inserting the disk and such into your computer. Sorry if the lighting is bad on my webcam. It is like 1.31 a.m. here. Okay, so alcohol 52% is applying the virtual device settings right now. And once that's done, we're going to insert this into my laptop. Alright, so, no, I don't want to update it this time. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and just insert your disk into your computer. And you can do this with any disk. You can even do this to video games and such. If you have bought a video game uh, for PC or whatever, for PC, you can go ahead and burn the ISO file and run it right here which is a really nice feature. Okay, so now my my uh, CD is in my computer there. I'm going to go ahead and go to the image making wizard and I'm just going to go to next and it's asking me where I want to save the image at. I like to save everything on my desktop. I'm going to click start and you can also name the uh, image. Oh, and right here on image format, go to standard ISO image and click start. Now this is a pretty small disk, so it should not take a very long time at all. There's like five point something megabytes on it. And there you go, it's that simple. Now, like I said, you know, it was five megabytes uh, in file size, so pretty small. Okay, so it automatically ejected the disk for me, okay? And now let's go ahead and try. I want to put the disk over here on my Mac. Close my disk tray. And what we're going to do is, just like so I can show you here, I'm going to remove the image from the list. And you'll see that we created this Razer ISO image. Okay. Now what you want to do is go over to the virtual drive right here. Right click the E, or whatever yours is. Wherever yours says no media ejected. Uh, right click it and go to mount image. And browse and look for your ISO file that you just made. Mine is Razor. You can either double click it or open it. And what it's going to do, it's going to run the virtual drive as the ISO and such. And you can see right here, it opens up through the setup process. And I can click OK. And it's going to run as if the disk were, were, you know, inserted into my computer. So now it's running the whole setup process and stuff so I'm just gonna click next and just to show you that this really does work and that the install process really does work there you go it's really installing it while the disk is right here in my hand okay now this is a basic tutorial really but a lot of people don't know about this so and it's a really helpful tool so yeah anyway that's what it prompts me to do And there you go. 
it is finished. No, I do not want to restart my computer right now. But yeah, that's basically how you run an ISO image. Okay, now let's say you want to eject the image. Right click your virtual drive and go to unmount image. And it's that simple. Now it's not running the ISO image and you're good to go. Alright guys, so thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had really a lot of fun making it, even though it's 1.35 a.m. I really think that this tutorial will help a lot of people, even though there's probably like a zillion tutorials out there like this right now on YouTube. That's fine. Alright, so thank you for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if this video helped you at all. And to share some links with you, check out my website, comphelp.com. Check out my Twitter, twitter.com slash comphelp. And check out how to make money online like I do, which is detailsformoney.tk. And all the links will be in the description. That's basically it, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.